Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain and demonstrate how to upgrade Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 from version 7 to version 8. And there's quite a number of small things you need to take care of. It's not a simple click next install, although it's not very hard either. Now, in our case, we're using the Community Edition. As you probably already know, the Community Edition is just a version that's limited to 10 users and has exactly the same functionality as the full tool. We'll also go over what the new functions and features are in version 8. And there's some good ones. Oh, by the way, this is completely unsponsored. So if you find this useful, big thumbs up and be appreciated. We are being certified, blah, blah, blah. But this is not something that we are being paid for in any way. All right. So let's uh, click the menu in the left. Click Upgrade. And you'll notice it says, your system's up to date. Click Next. Let's force it to check. No, nothing. Well, that's just wrong. And that's because Veeam, quite oddly, only provides upgrades or updates, as they call them, for their minor versions. So I'm at 7.1, blah, 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 2, 3, 1, whatever. Well, it turns out version 8 is out. So you go to veeam.com, go to products, go to free community editions, and you'll notice that Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 isn't here. So you have to go to all free tools, and then click on free community. If you just look through Enterprise, you'll find Veeam Backup for 365, but it's not the one you want. You want the Community Edition, and then boom, download. I've already downloaded it. Right-click on the ISO, select Mount, or just double-click on it, whatever you want to do. This is not simply a click next upgrade. This is changing from SQL to Postgres. So there's some changes. There's also .NET changes. Let's run through it, and we'll show you how it does the migration from SQL to Postgres. Uh, and a note that it does not do an uninstall of the of SQL. And if you're like most people using the Community Edition, you will find that the SQL you've got is the Microsoft SQL Compact Edition, and it's an ancient version of it. So after you're done the install, you may choose to uninstall the Compact Edition if you're not using it for anything else, which you almost certainly are not. All right, let's roll this thing. We also need to close the existing one. Select Update. Veeam Backup for 365 is ready. Note, the following operating, uh, operating system is no longer supported. Windows Server 2012. Just a note, my understanding from some testing we did earlier is that it will still work on Server 2012. It's just not supported. Accept. Read that very carefully. Community Edition is all we're going to use. Next. And you can see the system check did uh, its job. I actually do have a system reboot pending, so back in one second. And we're back, so let's just right-click and mount that ISO again. Update, yes, same message, I accept, agree. System check, it's telling you we're going to Postgres, SQL, so great. Just make sure there's enough space. Permissions, check, and install. This is going to take a few minutes, so just sit back and have a coffee. Yay, finish. Beam. Now, before you think you're done, remember that you've changed to Postgres from SQL and you're running an entirely new major build of Veeam for Microsoft 365. So you've got to go to your backup infrastructure, right click on the repository. So in our case, we have a USB drive that we're backing up to. Let's select upgrade. That's running. Bingo. And the last thing we need to do is add some permissions and uh, then perform a sync with the back end in Azure. So there's a couple of ways to do that. We'll show you the easy way. Go to your organizations, right click on your organization and select edit organization, then select next, next, next. And there is the checkbox you need to turn on. Grant the required permissions. This lets the account that you are using to do your backup manage Exchange as an app and also ensures that this, that this account is a global reader. And to click next, we need to install an application certificate. So click install. Now you could select a certificate from certificate store, but because version eight has some substantial changes, it's recommended that you just simply create a new certificate if you're not going to use a public one. So I'm just going to I agree with that. There we go. Done. And then next, copy that code and click the link to sign in as a device. 
paste the code, confirm. Bingo. Now you can close it. Click next. Click finish. Now, if you try to perform a backup immediately, you're very likely to get this processing mailbox, discovery search mailbox, blah, 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 error. There are two fixes for this, but 90% of the time, just wait. So give it half an hour and try again, and life will probably be good. Let's try it. Just go right click, start, and boom, it looks like everything is going to run through. All right, so let's go over the changes in Veeam 8. This is one of them. Backing up Teams channel messages now requires paid APIs. What's that about? Does that mean that Veeam 8 no longer backs up your Teams messages? No, that's not what it means. What it means is they've expanded the service so that you can now back up Teams channel information as well as just your regular chats. Nothing's changed as far as the regular chat messages go. However, the channel messages, so if you are working in a channel, Microsoft has now changed their APIs from using Exchange Web Services to using Microsoft Graph. And they're charging for Microsoft Graph. It'll show up as a line item on your Azure statement. What else is new? Well, this multi-factor authentication is now supported. Yay, that's a good thing. For the community edition, this doesn't make any difference because it's too small. But if you are larger, you can also now use proxy pools. So instead of having a single proxy to back up data, you can now have multiple proxies backing up the same data, which is great. But the most important change is the ability to back up to immutable storage. What's immutable storage, you might ask? It just means storage that can't be changed. And why would you want data that can't be changed? Why would you want it fully locked? Well, because hackers love to screw up your backups. And this eliminates that. If you set your backups to immutable, they can't get scrubbed when or maybe if you get hacked. Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 8.1.2. And just before we wrap this up, the last thing we're going to do is to get rid of SQL. Specifically, Microsoft SQL Server 2005 Compact Edition, because we just aren't using it. Bye. So, hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe's also always appreciated. Really does help with the Google algorithms. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a question below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. And beyond that, you can also get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.